Not often does a main character in a book admit that they can be pretty unlikable, but Eliza does just that, and she doesn't care if you like her or not. In Not Here to Be Liked by Michelle Quach, our main character, Eliza, cares more about working hard and reaching her goal of being editor-in-chief of The Bugle than winning a popularity contest. When it comes to elect the new editor-in-chief, Eliza should be a shoo-in. She's not only the most qualified person on staff, but she's also the only one running. That is, until Leon decides to run last minute. But Leon has hardly been on the paper staff for more than a year, joining right after an elbow injury made him quit the baseball team. The vote for the next editor-in-chief doesn't end up going how Eliza expected when she loses. Apparently, he seems more like a leader than she does, despite his lack of qualifications. To vent her frustration, Eliza types how she feels into her Google Drive. Then, somehow it ends up on the front page of the school paper, with a conclusion paragraph she didn't write. The question is, who posted it? It has to be someone on staff, but no one will admit it was them. Regardless of who posted, the result is a feminist movement that Eliza never meant to start. This is a fun read that will have you all wrapped up in Eliza's high school drama. Michelle Quach does a great job grabbing the reader's attention and making the book hard to put down. She also includes a few twists that I was not expecting, which I love. I can normally see a twist coming, but she definitely caught me by surprise more than once. I also really liked that Eliza wasn't our typical main character. A warning on the back of the book reads, this book contains an unlikable female character. I think it was really refreshing to see a main character who knew that she wasn't perfect and to have her be okay with that. Though we do see her grow in the book, we don't see her fundamentally change who she is. Often when we see an imperfect main character, by the end of the book they've changed to fix any of their perceived flaws. I think it's really great to have that not happen here and to just admit that our main character is human and imperfect. I think that this would be a great book for anyone to read, but especially good for high school age readers. Thanks for stopping by this book bite, and we hope you join us again next time. Bye!